Boker Tov, good morning. We continue with our three-minute daily dose of Torah, where we're studying a little bit about the golden calf as we arrive at the 17th of Tammuz on Thursday. Um, and that event, which ultimately leads to the breaking of the tablets on on the 17th of Tammuz, is uh, complicated. What was what what were they doing? What did they expect? What were they uh, what were they seeking when they created this Elohim that would go before them, as they say? What do they want? Do they want, as some commentaries would read it? Basically, they're asking for a talisman, some type of divining thing that will help them move forward uh, that might be more reliable than humans who uh, can let you down, like Moshe. At least this will be set, and we'll, have, uh, we'll, and we'll, and we'll be able to read it right. So this is kind of a, the way in which they'll, they'll, go, they'll be able to move forward into the wilderness. Um, so that is um, so, so that, that might be what they start with, but as uh, things uh, unravel very quickly... They make an egel masecha, um, and they uh, and they and they begin to say Yomru Ela Elohecha Yisrael Asher Ha'alucha Me'eretz Mitzrayim. This is your God Israel, who has brought you forth from the land of Egypt. At some point, um, it gets it, it, it shifts from whatever the might, original intention might have been, and before you know it. They are uh, involved in some type of worship. So, um, it might be, uh, you know, an orga- 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 orgiastic, uh, you know, horrible things. You, we, we saw the, the Ten Commandments and how they envisioned it. Um, so there is a real pagan event that's, that ultimately is taking place. So, uh, you know, how are we to look at this and, and, how, and, and how could they have arrived at this point? Is this something that they, they sort of collapse in the way we described it yesterday, that when things don't go their way, they right away fall back on their earlier patterns. That's how it's often explained. They're, they fall back to uh, at least what we knew in Egypt. We knew idolatry in Egypt. There's something at least that is uh, set and regular and all of that. That could be what's going on. Um, I wanted to share with you one teaching that's um, it's actually that in, in the, uh, the Midrash, and it's a really painful one, uh, which sees this as, uh, as an act of infidelity. Uh, it's a, ba- a verse in Shir HaShirim, Ad Shehamelech Bimisibo, Ner Din Atan Recho, While the king was still at his banquet, my nard gave forth its fragrance. Um, and what is this a reference to? Chazal say this is a reference to the golden calf. While the king was still at his banquet, the, uh, the other is giving forth its fragrance. Rashi, while the divine presence in Israel were yet at Sinai, they made the ego. For they did not travel forth from Sinai until, they, right, until the second year. They're still, at, they're still there. And, um, and when God says, Saru Marhem and Haderach, um, right, and the Midrash imagines a wedding scene. Since, since the giving of the Torah, uh, to the Jewish people was actually the way in which God married us. It was a moment of, of a beloved betrothal of God to the Jewish people. And the Torah was the way in which he betrothed us. It imagines that at that very moment, um, the eyes of the, uh, of, of, the, of the beloved was already looking out in the wedding party, in the, in the, in the, uh, those assembled for the wedding, and looking for the one they're going to commit adultery with. That's the image that Chazal see. It. And uh, indeed, the golden calf is not just, uh, not just um, an act of idolatry, but it's an act of adultery, um, which is the most painful thing God said, I thought I was wedding you, and we would be, we would be the husband and wife, as it were, um, and this is completely unraveled and fallen apart. And that is uh, the, the, the grievous thing that uh, the golden calf represents and why it was so, so much pain, as it were, to God and why it has such an impact on the Jewish people for a lack of fidelity to God. We continue next uh, tomorrow with uh, the last piece of our study.